In this video, we'll learn how to manage teams and its members. Let's see how to manage the members of a team. Keeping in mind that a team owner has certain controls that a standard member does not. If you create a team, you are the owner by default. So I'm going to choose a team here on my list and I'm going to click the button on the right. This opens up a menu and I'll choose Manage Teams. On this screen, there's a bunch of tabs across the top. Now I want to make sure I start with Members tab. So we can see a list of all the team members and they're sorted into two groups. There's the owners, and there are members and guests. Now, if you don't see the names appear, you would need to click this arrow to expand the list. So I'm the owner of the group, and also on the far right, in this roles column, you can see who is the owner, who's a guest, and who's a member. Over here on the right, there's a button to add new members. If it's a public team, any member can add new members directly. But if it's a private team, the team owner can add people directly. And if any normal member adds a new person, it just sends a request to the team owner to add them. I'm not going to add anybody, so I'll just click close. Next, team owners can remove members from a team. All you need to do is click X on the right side next to someone's name to remove them. And this is only going to be there if you are the team owner. Now, another thing that only owners can do is grant owner status to other members. In this roles column, you can see who's the owner and who's a member. If you're the owner, you can click on this to open up the menu. And I can switch someone who's a regular member to an owner, which also moves them up the owner's category. So now this team has two owners. Trainer has all the same management controls that I have over the team, but be careful. It is possible to open up the menu next to your name and switch yourself to a normal member. If I do that, I'll be stuck without owner access and I'll need to ask another owner to switch me back. So I'm not going to do that. Going back up to the tabs at the top, I want to go to the tabs for pending requests. If somebody has requested to join the team, typically this is for a private team. The team owner can check these requests and approve or deny them from here. Then I want to go over to the settings tab. And that's only going to be there if you sign in as an owner. And here you get all kinds of options for the team. You may want to add a picture which will replace the color icon next to the team. Under member permissions, you can set limitations on what members can do in a team. 
Most of these features were introduced later in the course, like creating conversation channels or adding apps. But if you want a little more control in your team, you can limit whether normal members have these options. Okay, one last thing you can do. I'll go back to the menu next to the team's name and there's an option to edit the team. So owners have the option to change the team. Team name, change the description, or change the privacy type. If you have a public team, you need to switch it to a private team later, you can access it from here. As the team owner, you can do this, but for now, I'm going to cancel. So those are the most important options for managing a team. Of course, you can take some time to explore and see what all the options are.